Oh my days. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Tanker26. And whoo, uh, I got a bit of hype for this video. So, not only is it the first video that I'm putting on my channel for 2019, uh, this would be the 3rd of January when I'm uh, recording this, but as you can see in front of me, I literally just got this. Uh, it is a pair of Baldwin centipedes in the demo paint scheme. Um, there are extra um, details, um, plastic details uh, that you're supposed to add on, like uh, hand ladders. Uh, but I didn't. No, I'm not bothering <laughs> with installing those. Not at the moment. Um, because I just want to run these fuckers. Uh, so this is actually the first time that I'm gonna run this. So, um, I literally just got it out of the box about 30 minutes ago. Uh, I was also chatting with, uh, some friends of mine on Discord. Uh, we won't mention them. Um, and the funny thing is, is the shipping box that it came in was an Amazon box. So because it was an Amazon box, I got a little confused. <laughs> Thinking it was an Amazon shipment until I turned it over and saw the eBay patch on it. Lol, rip me. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is officially the biggest locomotive that I have. Um, well, at least as as it is. Uh, see, I actually found out per the instructions that these two units can actually be run as single units. Um they are. They can either be connected by a coupler or by a draw bar. Uh, I personally went with a draw bar because, well, I actually don't freaking know. I'm probably just being lazy. Huh. Um. Uh. Shout out to uh, my friend, uh, my good friend, uh, Dustin Man B two ten. Uh, <laughs> because I know for a fact. That he loves this locomotive. So, Dots, if you watch this, feast your eyes. There she is. <laughs> now, brought, this is obviously by Broadway Limited Imports. They're the only railroad company that makes them. Uh, this item, I will say, is... Well, it's not, the, it's not rare, but it's very uncommon. Actually, wait. No, it is rare. Um... Especially in the AA set, because, well, let's be honest. These things are $500 retail, $499. And I got this uh, on an auction on eBay um, in a like-new condition. The only reason why the seller listed it as used was because the seal was broken. That's it. Like, he literally had not taken the locomotives out of the box, hadn't ran them. He hadn't done anything, so it's pretty much brand spanking new. Uh, and I only got this for three eleven. So I'm a bargain hunter. Not gonna lie, if I see a good deal, I'll freaking go for it. I will admit, I did end up paying a bit more than I wanted to. So I actually only wanted to uh, take the bid up to like two hundred. Because shipping, for some reason, was $40, but then again, uh, it was being shipped from Virginia, and I'm in California. Hmm. Uh, so, um, just to get in a size of comparison, uh, the Centennial, it, my Centennial, uh, I have a DD40 and a DD35, uh, but my DD40... May be longer than one of the single units, but compared to this, not even my, like, this thing is just massive as a twin pair, as a set. Um, and they actually are wired to run as a set, so basically I can just run them on one digital address, that's it. Uh, I actually don't know, well, I don't know, I'll find that out later on down the road, I'm just doing that as a freaking product review. Uh, obviously it's by Broadway Limited Import, so yeah, it's gonna be hella expensive, and yeah, it's gonna be very, very nicely detailed. Uh, they got, P let's see, I'm looking at the unit size of the camera, and, uh, my phone, actually, actually, um, 
Nice roofing detail. So this paint scheme uh, is not pencil is actually the demo paint scheme. Now I feel like it is rare to still be able to find these in the demo paint scheme. Not so much in the Pennsylvania. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, nice roof detail. Obviously, there's not that much because you know these are streamlined locomotives. Uh, nice grill detail. Some doors. There's one painted crew figure in one of them, and there's two. Wait, hang on. There's two crew. There's oh, never mind. There's two crew painted crew figures in both of the units. So at least you have that much. Now, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm too excited. I just want to run. I just want to run this thing and hear this thing because uh, it's ECC and sound. Paragon two sound, I should say. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'll just apply track power. That's it. Oh. Hang on. Ah, hang on. What the hell's going on? Ah! There it is. I was wondering. I was wondering what the hell was going on. <laughs> Okay, so F9, which is kind of what you heard, is the, um, uh, engine startup and shutdown. I don't know why the sounds only kicked in when I moved the locomotive a bit. Um, let's see. Oh. Oh, okay, hang on. No, that, that, hang on. that was Bell. If you can already tell. I'm looking at the owner's manual right now. So. Okay, so is that what I'm hearing? No, that is the headlight. Okay. Lighted cab and lighted number boards. That's great. What am I feeling? I'm sorry, what am I feeling? F10 supposedly will do the radiator cooling fans. Um. Okay! Uh, so I only have the Bachman, uh, controller. I soon am going to get the, um... I believe it was NRE uh, GCC set, um, which will be able to give me a wider range of sounds with my GCC and sound equipped locomotives. Uh, but I am able to do some sounds. For example, uh, the headlight, which for uh, the Bachman GCC command control center, it is F10. Um, for F1 is the bell. You kind of already heard already. Hmm. Bit me lenient. Okay. Uh, my favorite feature, the horn, F2. I love doing railroad crossing sequences. That is awesome. Uh, F3, coupler clank. No, that's not it. What the hell is that? Is that a compressor? That's an air... I am so confused. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, 
Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get this sucker running. I'm going to run this thing for a bit. So I have this on a 22-inch loop. So I'm going to see what the heck this is going to do, if we're going to be able to take it. Let's see, what if I switch directions? Wait, a bit of a delay. There you go. Awesome. real quick uh before i sign off i want to get a quick mention i never made a video of these uh two locomotives that you see here the first one being the e9a unit uh 6051 which uh for any sacramento locals will know it's the uh x uh, 6051 e9 at the museum and behind it is a lot is another Broadway Limited Import locomotive. It is a Milwaukee Road 28 to Mikado. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a review video like I did with the Baldwin Centipedes. Uh, until next time, Model Railroaders, all aboard! <laughs>